and it's just like you think, okay, the older you get, you'll be able to mentally handle things, but it's, it's it gets harder the older you get, and it just, it just sucks, like, I just want to be okay, like, at this point, like, in my life, I just want to be okay, I just want to be mentally okay, I just want to be physically okay, I want to be spiritually okay, I just want to be happy within myself, but it's hard when you're trying to be happy, and you got all these people around you that knocks you down, pushes you back, every time you feel like you're taking a step forward, somebody pushes you ten steps back. And I know I can't always blame people, but other people do not help. And when you sit there and try to, to pull somebody into your circle that's motiva motivational or something, half the time is in disguise. A lot of people are just walking around with these masks on and pretending to be something they're not just to, to please the society because the way society is. Like, it's, it's telling you to be this way instead of you being you. Like, and, and it's, it's, it's hard. It's hard trying to live in the world and be you when it's telling you, like, a lot of things. Being you is never okay. I know I cannot blame... I know I cannot blame people for how I am, but... It's hard and it's really tiring to keep putting myself out there and always feeling like this. Never good enough. No matter what I do, people just make me feel like the lowest person for being me. And it sucks. And this story time is not just about my special friends. All the people that I honestly consider my friend, like, and it just sucks because it takes me a while to actually want to call you my friend. But if I, f I feel like I can trust you enough to tell you things, tell you my insecurities, tell you what bother me, if I'm upset and you ask me what's wrong and I'm willing to tell you, do not take that in consideration that, okay, I'm being vulnerable to you and that means you can speak to me any way you want to, treat me any way you want to, walk all over me any, like, any type of way. Any type of way, like, it just, it just... Like, I had this one friend that I honestly, I considered him my best friend, we worked together and everything. I told him things. I told him things that I've never told anybody. Like, things I wish I could have taken to the grave. That's how deep some secrets were. And I honestly thought that, um... He was, um... He, he considered me his best friend too because he's told me things like he's gotten real vulnerable in front of me like I've never really had a friend that's cried in front of me like and I'm like okay you trust me that much to get that deep with me so and I'm the type of person that I don't like crying in front of people I don't show I don't like showing that emotion I don't like being that weak even though my anxiety makes me freaking cry sometimes. I'm one of the people that if I get too frustrated, like too angry, my emotions is the tear. I might be really angry and want to fight with somebody, but you'll still see me crying. And I can't freaking control it because that's my anxiety. I'm having a panic attack, anxiety attack, however you want to call it. And I'm sitting there hyperventilating, breathing hard, and tears are coming down my face. But... I honestly thought that we would be friends for a while, but when looking back and all the stuff that I did for him, I realized that majority of the time he was just he was taking advantage of the friendship. He was using me, but I didn't want to see it that way because I'm like everybody struggles, and I always try to look out for a friend. I try to look out for anybody that's in need. And I always try to help the best way I can. Like, if you're stuck somewhere, yeah, I'm going to help you out and give you money for transportation or something. If you're hungry and you can't afford it, let me help you out. That's just who I am. But if once 
you start taking advantage of it and then automatically expect me to do this. If I'm not offering, my thing is, don't ask. That's how I see it. I don't mind helping people, but I felt like he started taking advantage of the, our friendship. What I thought was a friendship. Because I used to tell him a lot of stuff. I told him things that, um... I said I would never tell anybody. And our friendship, like, our friendship was on and off. Something would happen, we'll argue, we'll stop being friends, then we go back to being friends, and then something would happen, we'll stop being friends, and again, it was like a, a freaking never-ending cycle, and then, when a, a lot of things started happening in life, and, um, we wasn't right there anymore, because we lived right next to each other, we worked at the same job, so we always said, and then when life happened, and a lot more distance was in between us, like, our friendship started to die down. If I tried to hit him up just to see how he's been, his thing was, oh, don't try to keep the conversation going, like, what's wrong with me trying to ask how you've been? I thought we were friends, like, I honestly considered you my best friend. And then... It got more distance between us, more and more, like, and then we just stopped talking, like, I honestly thought he still considered me a friend because he would ask my opinion on certain things, like, when he'd be really upset and want to quit something, like, quit his dreams, it will come to me, so I thought, okay, you still consider me a friend, I only want to come to me for the real serious stuff, which I don't mind. My male best friend, he, he's like that. He'll come to me for only the serious life change and issues, which I don't mind. Like, we don't need to speak every day to, for me to know that we're friends. But once in a while, it'd be nice to, to, to just be like, hey, how you been? We haven't spoken in a while. But no, it's always me that's always hitting up somebody asking them how they've been. And then now that I'm not in New York anymore, everybody's like, oh, where you been? I miss you, all this stuff. We should hang out. Where was all of this when I was in New York? You never wanted to hang out with me before, so why now? Why that I'm in a whole other state, I'm two hours away. You want to hang out with me now? Like, no. No. That's why when I left New York, I didn't tell nobody. I literally just up and left. Like, there were a few people that knew I was leaving, but they thought I wasn't going to leave for, like, another couple of weeks. I left the first chance I got. And honestly, I have not been back to New York. I'm starting to wonder if it's even worth sitting there going to New York in June. But... I got some business to do out there, and it's literally just to do business. And then, I have some family I need to see that I haven't seen in a while. You know, when you start dreaming about things, dreaming about um people you haven't seen in a while, you really need to go see them. Especially if something's happened to them in your dream, that your, your mind telling you that you need to, to hurry the hell up and go see them. But... Getting back into this, it just sucks trying is never good enough nowadays, and it's not good for my anxiety. Putting myself out there and then people just like push, knocking me right back down. And honestly, I just want people to accept me for who I am. You do not have to accept me for who I am as a friend, but if we work together, accept me for who I am. There's a lot of like majority of my co-workers don't like me because they don't like my sense of humor. And I'm not going to change who I am to please other people. I just won't talk to you. I won't joke with you. I'll just keep it strictly business. We all need to be friends. It's just, I'm one of them people. I like to, to make jokes once in a while to keep myself sane working in that place. But a lot of people don't get my sense of humor and I'm not going to change it. I just, I'll treat you guys like you treat me and just keep on moving. 
Because a lot of workers there, they honestly do treat me like I don't exist. And honestly, I don't go to work to make friends. I go to work to make some money. But that doesn't mean there should be no should be a lack of communication. I've worked too many jobs with this lack of communication. So I came to New York, I was working a damn job that nobody knew how to communicate. There was no form of teamwork and it was frustrating. It should not be everybody for themselves, especially in a small quarter. Like, it was so freaking small. We were like in a booth basically and it'd be like five people and nobody wanted to freaking communicate with people. Like, I understand you don't like, like a lot of these jobs, like they get used to their coworkers and don't like new workers, but doesn't mean you should treat the new co-worker like shit just because you don't like change not everybody's gonna be there forever and honestly I tell people all the time I don't know how you guys have been there for so freaking long like I understand the job is good you make good money but I don't want to be working there forever I'm going on a freaking year and I'm so I've done with the job like two three months into it but I'm gonna keep on working it until something better comes along or I have these opportunities for my dream. That's why I'm doing YouTube because I know that a lot of doors open up for people and I have to start somewhere with my career and even though I started pretty late, it's better than never, you know? I just, I just want to be happy. You know, I want people to accept me for who I am, flaws and all. And it just, it really does suck. It just really sucks that I'm at the point where I'm starting to feel like I can never be good enough. I'll never be happy. Just because when I get a glimpse of happiness, something always happens that gets taken right from under me. No matter what I do, no matter what it is, it's just like, uh-uh, let me have that back. Your happiness has been revoked. And it's been like this my entire life, and a lot of people do not understand it. And it just, it really does suck you put yourself out there and you've been nothing but real with people honest and I'm tired of trying to I'm always tired I'm tired of being nice so kind and so honest so real with people and I always put others before me and then it just it's like people think all right that's a doorway to freaking walk all over me and I don't and I try not to but I still always try to be so nice to people and it's for what though? It's really for what? And it's like no matter what I do, people only see what I don't do. What I can't do for them. I can do a million and one things for you, for them. And they'll see that one thing, that one thing I can't do for them. I want to be happy with them myself. I'm just like, when you have anxiety and then you have, you have anxiety and then you have all the people that are like, pushing your anxiety for it to be an all time high and it's just there's so much you can ignore before it breaks you down and I know everybody has their own insecurities their own battles they need to face but when you battle when you're battling your own insecurities it really starts to interfere with your everyday life because one moment your mood can be up and then the next is back down. Especially with having anxiety. And a lot of people don't get that. And a lot of people think I'm just playing the victim. A lot of people think I'm just playing the victim. And they don't understand. Like I cannot help the way I am. I can't help the fact that I always apologize for the mistakes I made. Even when it's not my fault. I still apologize like it's my fault. 
and it's just what I'm used to. I'm used to apologizing for things that I didn't do, getting blamed for things I didn't do, and it just, it just sucks. It just sucks that, um, when I make a mistake of something, and, and it's not just me, that it's, it could be somebody else that's made the exact same mistake as me, but yet, people come to me and treat me like it's, it's always all my fault that this other person can't do no wrong. That no, like, I, it's not okay to feel this way. And listen, when I, when I see somebody going through the same thing with me, like, everybody's situation is different. Like, everybody goes through their own problem. But the feeling was always the same. Feeling lower than, like, life itself. It, you shouldn't have to feel this way. And I tell people, like, it's okay, though. It's okay to feel this way, though. It's okay to, to, to not feel like you're not good enough because you're not the only person that feels like this. And even though it's not okay, it's still okay. So the feeling is okay, but not feeling like you're, it's, it's okay. Like, feeling like you're not good enough is not okay. But the, like, the actual feeling and stuff, like, it's okay to feel that way. That you're not alone. Like, there's somebody out there that is going through the same thing as you. It might not be the same situation, but the feeling is still the same. There's somebody out there that's making somebody not, making somebody feel like they're not good enough. And it's okay. It's okay to feel like you're alone, but they're, you're not alone. Like, you can feel like the loneliest person in the world in a room full of people. People that you know, familiar faces. Like, I feel like that every single day. Granted, I'm in a whole other state, so of course I'm going to feel alone. But, you got all these people that you work with, and, um, you feel like you're the loneliest person in the room. And it's literally, like, two people from work that... I'm actually like comfortable with. You should not be have to feel uncomfortable at work. Like granted, work is always going to be stressful, but you shouldn't have to feel uncomfortable. You shouldn't have to be uncomfortable working with people, especially when it's a it's a couple of you guys. Like the most comfortable I feel at work is when I work overnight and it's only me and one other person. But honestly, that's gonna be for another a whole another like story time. Of working with somebody and being bullied at work. Because that's a whole other thing. But. I seriously cannot help. That my emotions are different every single day. Like one moment I could be happy. I could be sad. I could be angry. Like ev nobody. We may be the same on the inside. Like physically. But our hearts are different. Our hearts function differently. Our mind works differently. We go through the same like types of feelings, but the feelings are different. And everybody's emotions change every single day. You can't take somebody at fault for feeling a certain way. You can't take somebody for fault of if they're feeling depressed today and they might be happy tomorrow. Like you cannot help you cannot change somebody's emotions. You cannot force somebody to be happy, to be, to be angry at a situation, to be upset with it. Like, people, a person's emotions work differently. And a lot of people don't understand that with me. Like, people think I'm just constantly playing the victim and I want somebody to, to, to notice that, okay, I'm, I'm being the victim, which is not even true, like, when everything bottles up, you have no choice, like, you have no other choice but to, to let it out, some people let it out anger, some people let it out throwing fists, throwing things, or they let it out in tears, like, people let their emotions out, when they bottle up, people let their emotions out in different ways, mine is frustration, like, I'll start to cry, and I hate crying, but if I'm getting to that point, I'll start knowing these angry tears, I'll start, I'll freaking have a panic attack, a freaking anxiety attack. 
And it's not because I'm playing the victim. It's because I cannot, I can no longer hold it in. And when you don't constantly have somebody there to, to for you to express it, all it's going to do is bottle up. And you're going to lash out the wrong person. And I'm, I'm seriously tired of feeling this way. And my insecurities and, and anxieties, I can't speak today, do tend to set me back. And I know I'm at fault for, like, m my insecurities, but... When you grow up a certain way and people never make you feel good enough, like you're never pretty enough, like you're just not worth it, like you're not worth somebody's attention even to be friends, like you can't even be a classmate with somebody because somebody wants to bully you because of your size or you're not talking to somebody. It sucks. It sucks when your mind <clears throat> tends to remind you of things you wish you could forget. Like, you could be at work and next thing you know, you're popping in your head of uh, something you did or how somebody treated you. And it, it, it sucks, especially when you have anxiety. Like, it's going to really affect you. Like, I can't ignore my emotions like some people do. And, and people say to me, it's like, oh, why do you let this bother you? Like, it's not even worth it. Everybody's different. People handle their emotions differently. Some people know how to ignore it. Some people let it out with anger. Some people let it out with cries or something like people react to things differently and a lot of people don't understand it. Like nobody wants to understand until it happens to them. But it's everyday life for everyone and we all have our emotional scars that seem to never want to heal. Cause our mind is our worst enemy, and our mind will literally pick at it, pick at it, and pick at it until it's opening up again. And it, it, it really does suck because I'm the type of person where I won't treat somebody how I've been, like, I don't want to. So, and I think people feel like that's a leeway to treat me any type of way because I'm too nice. And. I give people respect, like, no matter what I do, like, if we work together and we don't get along, but I'm still going to be cordial with you, I'm still going to give you some form of respect because we work together. And it, it, it really does, it sucks, like, there's some family members I don't talk to no more, but I still give them respect because they're family, you know? And it, it, it sucks pretending... Like, trying to, like, even though I try to keep it real, like, it sucks, like, putting on this mask to, like, you still try to please people, even though, like, people are not, like, giving you the same respect in return. And I really hate putting myself out there just to be made a fool of. And it seems like no matter what I do, I just... It's never good enough. I can do all these million and one things. And I'll see that one thing I didn't do, like I said. And it just, it just sucks. And it sucks because I treat people like how I want to be treated. And I always try to understand the other person's side. Because I never want to be the bad person, and it just seems like, and I never want to hurt anybody. I don't want to hurt anybody, it's just, my emotions do get best me, it's just, I put myself out there and treat people how I want to be treated, because I don't want to be made as a bad person, I don't want to hurt anybody, but it seems like when I do that, it gives people all the reasons to treat me any type of way. And I know I'm at fault for it, for allowing people to, to walk all over me, but I can't help it. I can't, like, just automatically erase a trait that's a part of me, that's always been there. Like, I am too nice, and 
I feel like it does, like, it's a good and a bad trait about me, but I can't change it. It's a little too late for that now. Like, I still want to be that nice person, but I try to be that nice person with a shield up. Like, I do not try to get close to people. Like, one moment I can act like I don't care, but on the inside, I do care. That's why I said people put on a mask and hide who they really are because they're afraid of how people are going to treat them. I know I might sound like a broken record repeating myself, but I mean it like every single time. Like Sometimes I have trouble expressing, explaining myself, so I tend to say the same thing. But it doesn't mean I don't mean it. It's just after a while... Like, it's hard to find the right words to express how you feel. That's why some people like like me, I tend to say the same things over and over because a lot of people do not understand why I feel the way I feel. Like, some people said to me, like, oh, you shouldn't feel that way. You're always by yourself. Like, how do you even have time to sit there and put yourself out there with somebody, like, that stuff that really sucks the older you get. Like, I really thought it was bad when I was a kid. And it's just like, you know how when you're a kid and you got it bad, you can't wait for you to get older. So, a lot of stuff won't bother you anymore. But, even when you get older, like, it just... The problems and the situations just get harder and harder. And they get harder to where you cannot avoid them. Like, when you're a kid, like, you cannot... You can avoid them, you can walk away from them, but as you get older, like, life puts you in these situations where you cannot run from them, you have to face them no matter what you do. They're going to keep coming back, they're going to keep smacking you in the face, they're going to keep biting you in the head, they're just going to keep pulling you back until you learn how to handle them. And it, it's, it really sucks, like, it just gets harder trying to be happy with, within myself. And it sucks because I knew it would get harder as I got older, but I just thought things would at least get better, you know? I knew they were going to be harder the older we get, but I thought they were going to at least get better. I thought I would have been able to handle these situations a lot better now. That I'm older, but it seems like the older I get, the more my anxiety is on freaking overdrive. Working at this place that I work now, like, my anxiety wasn't that bad. I was able to handle it. But now it just seems like I keep getting pushed to these breaking points, and, and I can't, I don't have no control over it. I'm like, I almost had a freaking anxiety attack, actually a few times. One time I had to walk away. Take a few couple of deep breaths because I was about to have a freaking anxiety attack because of how I was being treated. And it's, I'm one of the people where, like, I was raised a certain way that, um, even as I get older, I always have respect for my elders. You could be, like, 10 years older than me or something. I'm going to still give you that form of respect of, like, if I'm a kid and I'm respecting my elder. It shouldn't be like that. It should be, I give people the respect that deserve the respect, but... That's just me, like, everybody can't see things how I see things, like, I mean, I'm pretty sure there's people out there that view the world the same as I do, it's just hard when you feel like you're just there by yourself, you're sitting there handling all these situations by yourself, which I am, I'm sitting here mentally fighting on myself every single day, and it, it really does suck, that's why it takes me back to my special friend, like, it really does, it really, like, really hurts my heart. And I said this. I said this, like, I never wanted to lose you as a friend. But you honestly should have said something to me, to, to me. Like, if you didn't like something I put in the video, you could have been like, all right, I wasn't feeling this, what you said, like, please can you take the video down? I don't want it out there or something like that. But no, you just deleted me, like, our friendship wasn't important enough, like, you didn't consider me a friend. I honestly don't think you kept it going this long just to play some sick twisted game. When we met, I told you that I thought it was a sick twisted game he wanted to play on me because I put myself out there and said that I had feelings for him and but he was 
he had a girlfriend. But we're too like too old for this. I'm twenty seven. And I believe you're like a year older than me. But it shouldn't like we shouldn't have to we shouldn't just walk away from people. I granted you can walk away from such a certain situation, but you shouldn't just leave somebody hanging like that and make them feel like expressing them like they shouldn't express themselves like that they're not good enough like it's not worth putting yourself out there and it just it really hurts my heart that you really just like disappeared like this when you asked me to, to put a special message out there granted you asked for it differently but I told you that I was going to make a whole video dedicated to you and you told me you was okay with it. You didn't even, like, when I told you I was doing the video, the day I was doing the video, I texted and told you I had a surprise for you and all this stuff. You knew everything that I was going to put in there, but you never responded to me. You never even responded to me when I put the video up there. So, like, I was literally wondering if you deleted me from your life way before I freaking even did the video. When you have important people leave out of your life for no explanation, like, like, it really puts a damper on you, like, it makes you really start questioning, like, people handle situ situations differently, but when you, um, when you're emotionally scarred like I am with so many insecurities, like, it makes you question your whole, like, self-being, it's like, you had this person here that was building you up, trying to put all this confidence in you to just be like everybody else. Like you spoke to them about them, which I don't understand. Like I don't understand the logic behind it. You told me countless times you are not like the people that I've had in my life, and you made me feel like you were trying to help me with my insecurities. But, <clears throat> how can you build me up, help me with my insecurities, and sit here and then go and do with um, what everybody else has been doing my entire life? And you told me you wasn't like them people, and that you wouldn't do that. But look, you did it, and like, it feel, I, I feel like it's pushed me back more than where I already at, like, it's... It's really messing with my words because I don't understand why. I don't understand why, like, you just up and do this. Make me feel worse than I already do. Give me more insecurities and put my anxiety and all time high. Granted, it was already at an all-time high, but this shit has really been bothering me. Like, I know it's been a while since I uploaded the video, because I really wanted to get my words out, like, my words straight. I wanted to really express myself without making me look like a more of a fool than I already am, but this video's been going on for too long. And I hope maybe there's somebody out there that feels the same way that I do. And maybe we can help each other, build each other's confidence, and motivate each other. So, on that note, I'm check back with you guys in another video. I'm Raya Lala. If you like this video and you like to see me do more story times, please like, comment subscribe and if you want me to do anything else just let me know but I hope you guys enjoy this video until next time I'm Mariah Lala catch you on the next clip